Are you looking to start advertising on Google, but you don't know where to start? Well, welcome to the complete Google Ads tutorial. This is for people that are new to Google Ads and those that just need a little refresh. Fun fact, Google accounts for 40% of the global ad revenue and is still the biggest search engine in the world. Google Ads is the perfect machine to help you reach new customers for your business this year. And in this video, we're gonna cover campaign creation, ad groups, and effective ad management. Okay, first things first, you're gonna need to sign up for a Google ad account. So to do that, go to ads.google.com. And if you're a first time advertiser on Google, you're in luck because Google likely has a promotional offer for you, potentially some free money. Let me show you how to find them. But first, look at the results that Ikea got from Google ads and United Airlines and Pringles. But you don't need to be a global business to get these kinds of returns. Small businesses are doing it all over the world. Now let's make Google work for your business. To find those promotions, once you're on ads.google.com, look for a banner that is highlighting their current offers, and the offers that you're gonna see will depend on your country. So once you find one you like, just click Claim Offer. Really quickly, just so you know, your screen may look slightly different from mine based on a few reasons. There are interface updates, Google may personalize it based on your business, they may be A-B testing for layouts, or maybe you have different initial goals, type of account, or just general settings. Last Lastly, suspicious activity may also change the way your account looks. So don't worry if it seems a little bit different. Or maybe Google AI has come alive and is picking favorites. I don't know. To set up your account, first enter your business name and your website URL. Next, you do have the option to link your accounts like YouTube and your Google business profile, but this can be skipped and added later. So if you wanna do that, just click skip to move on. Let's talk about location and language targeting. You can target geographical areas where you want to deliver your products or services. However, it's important to know that the more specific you get with this, the more expensive your ads are going to be. So you can target specific countries, regions, or even cities. And if you wanna do this, go to the location options and target people within your desired locations. And if you want to, you can actually exclude certain locations within your chosen region. Another great hack is using customer segmentation to group your customers together based on their attributes or location. You can have segments such as homeowners or young moms. This way you can easily retarget them. Lastly, make sure to select the target language for your campaign. Next, you have to choose your campaign goals. You can choose sales, leads, website traffic, brand awareness, or app promotion. There are a lot of options, so choose what's best for your brand. I will say though that sales or leads are best for beginners because you're likely trying to make some money quickly. So getting calls booked or your services bought is kind of a priority. Sales means someone pulled out their wallet and actually bought something from you. Leads are people who are interested but not quite ready to buy yet. Maybe they booked a call, scheduled an appointment, or filled out a form to learn more. They're just checking things out before making a decision. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna select leads. Now you're gonna need to choose your campaign type. So here are the main types of Google ad campaigns. There's the Performance Max campaign. This is where you use AI to run multiple campaign types across different Google platforms. There's search campaigns. These show up when people search on Google. Next is display campaigns. These show up on the side of websites. And then there's shopping campaigns. These are the ones that are on the top of Google search results and they typically have photos. They're really great for e-commerce companies. I've definitely bought things from these myself, probably too many times. Next is video campaigns. These show up on YouTube videos before and during. And then there's app campaigns. Pretty obvious, they're used to promote apps. Next, you get to decide what type of bid strategy you wanna use. Google pushes people to go for conversions, but you can also do clicks or impressions as well. It's great to track clicks for Google search ads if you want to optimize your cost per click. Basically, how much it costs you to get someone to click on your Google ad link. When it comes to your budget, on the low end, you can start with spending around 10 to $30 a day. However, you do need to give Google enough to work with. If you only spend a dollar a day, Google will not have what it needs to get the data or push your products out. It's not gonna work for nothing. So once you feel comfortable with the number, enter your budget and we can move on to the next step. You don't have to be pouring money out like Mr. Beast to make money back on Google ads, okay? So now let's talk about keyword research. 
A great way to find keywords for your ads is to look at ads already running in your niche, but in different markets. So if you're selling in California, for example, look at similar businesses that are selling in New York and copy their keywords. Another great tool is Keyword Planner. To use it, just head over to Tools, then Planning, then Keyword Planner. Here you can see what people are searching for. Google will show you search volumes and new keywords. For example, if you search marketing agency, keywords related to this and the volumes will show up. You can save all the ones that you wanna use for later. Keywords are how people will find you, so it's super important to use the right ones. Now let's talk about creating ad groups and keywords. Here is a Google search ad structure. The first level is the campaign, then the ad group, and then the keywords and the ads. You can create an ad group based on a specific theme, for example, digital marketing for startups. Next, add in your keywords. There are three types of keywords you can use. There's broad, exact, or phrase match keywords. You can hover over the question mark to see how to input each type. Fun fact, you can also exclude certain keywords if you don't wanna show your ads to people who are searching up specific phrases. Next, you can create more ad groups based on your unique services or products. Okay, now you actually get to create your ad. Search ads have headlines, descriptions, and a display URL. We're gonna fill all of this information out and then add in the final URL. You can use a website or a simple landing page. And if you're looking to build a website, I've actually linked a free Shopify trial down below for you. And what's really nice is that you can build a website for your business within a few hours using their ready-made templates. Super simple and easy. Next, you wanna write some effective headlines and descriptions. Google is gonna score your ad based on some important factors. So you wanna think of what people are searching for right now, and don't forget to refer back to those keywords that you saved. What problem do you solve for people and who are you solving it for? Make this as obvious as you can. Another tip, you can actually pin headlines to keep them on top. Now, you're gonna need at least two descriptions for Google to start testing your search ads. You can absolutely add more though, I definitely did here because it gives Google a lot to work with. Another little tip is that Google recommends adding three ads into each ad group. You can absolutely start with just one though. Now, if you want to, you can add site links to specific sections on your website. This can be an extra opportunity to make some more sales. Here's an example of this on a Google search ad. You can also add something called a callout extension on your campaign or ad group. With these, you can highlight unique product or service benefits, such as free shipping on all orders or AI optimized strategies. Be very specific with this though, and try to avoid using vague terms like quality service or best in the business because people don't really know what this means. It's also best to use at least four callouts and make sure that they are concise and specific to your ad. Just remember that there are no perfect ads in the beginning. You have to take your time to figure out what works. Try to make your ads just a little bit better each time until you find the strategy that works for your business. Finally, review your campaign details and hit that publish button. And once it's sent, you will have to wait for Google to approve your campaign, but don't worry, it should only take about one to two days. Once it's approved, you can officially run it. Now, first off, congratulations for sending out your first Google ad. Once it is out there, it is incredibly important to monitor how the campaign is performing with data such as the click-through rate, the cost per click, the conversion rate, and your return on ad spend. If your click-through rate is low, test out your headlines and your callouts. If your conversions aren't good, adjust your landing page or your targeting strategy until you maximize your ad's impact. You wanna solve each problem until the data starts to look healthy. You will also need to set up conversion tracking with Google using a Google Ads tag. You can track actions on your website, phone calls, app installs, local actions, and a lot more. Google does have tutorials on how to set this up, so just go to their support page to do that. Look at you go, you have just created your first Google Ads campaign. Or at least you have the tools to finally get started. I'm Chris Michalukina with Learn with Shopify, and if you found this video helpful, it would mean a lot if you could leave it in the comments below and let me know, and also give this video a like. And if you guys are looking for help with other areas of your business, make sure to subscribe to our channel for weekly business videos. We cover topics such as marketing, e-commerce, AI, website building, social media, raising funds, business fundamentals, and a ton more. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.